All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I want to give all honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham, Racha Kodash, the wanders to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone. Salutation to all the I can push in his word with true sincerity and with charity. Uh, Yahweh is the true name of the Heavenly Father, whom the word in calls God. And Jehovah, Bahasham is in the name. Yahweh Shai is the son's name, of the word in calls Jesus. And Racha Kodash is the Holy Spirit. As always, you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans are the true Israelites of the Bible, as well as the speckled bird out there that's amongst other nations whose outer appearance may seem to be of those nations, but whose lineage goes back to Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. You got the Israelites no matter what your outer appearance may seem to be. As always, I'm your diary from the Great Millstone Branch here in Chicago, and I'm back with another lesson, and it's going to be uh, basically like a little, you know, quick precept, precepts, you know, quick precepts to touch to... Uh, you know, basically going to this Ezekiel 33 really quick, you know. And then, you know, I was just doing a little quick, brief read last night. And I was coming across this Ezekiel, you know, and I, you know, I was reading. I'm like, damn, I can get a precept out of that, you know. But nevertheless, this is going to be Ezekiel 33 and verse 2. It says, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, saying to them, When I bring the sword upon the land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blow the trumpet and warn the people. Then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and take of not warning, if the sword come and take him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning, his blood should be upon him. But he that take of warning shall deliver his soul. And amen, you know, back in the ancient world, you know, you have like guard posts or so and you assess somebody there till, till you basically uh, warn you ahead of time, aforetime time, if they seen the enemy, man. And, hey, right now, you know, the Lord has set up men to warn his people because ultimately the lord is going to render a judgment to this place man you know and he's in in the message which he gave us is the good tidings the, the good news you know the gospel that this place is going to be destroyed that we are the children of israel and we need to return before we be taken away in it man you know but this is habakkuk 2 and 1 i will stand upon my watch and set me upon the tower and will watch to see what he will say unto me and what i shall answer when i am reproved and Yahweh answered me and said, write the vision and make it plain upon tables that he may run that read of it, man. And hey, the Lord have given us the script. He given us the way out of this place, man. And hey, the Lord said, make it plain so that he may run that read of it, man. So, hey, we go out there and we do the work and it'd be, and it'd be you know, basically it would do you well if you take heed to it, man. Because, hey, if you don't, you're going to be left here smoking, you know. It says, for the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie, though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come and will not tarry, man. Hey, Yahweh's prophecies are taking place, man. You know, you could say a couple years ago, well, uh, like two decades ago or so, it, it didn't seem like all that, like it wasn't going to happen, man. But hey, fast forward now, hey, that appointed time is here and it's happening, man. And you cannot uh, disavow it, man, you know. This is Proverbs 11 and 17. It says, the merciful man doeth good to his own soul, but he that is cruel troubleth his own flesh. Man, and, hey, if you hear these, uh, if you hear the watchmen, the prophets, you know, sitting out here telling you, hey, this place is going to be destroyed, man. If you was, if you knew any better, if you wanted to do good to yourself, man, you would, you would take heed, man. As the scriptures say that uh, the prudent man foreseeth the evil and hideth himself. And how do you hide yourself from these evils that's going to come? Through trusting in Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai, the one that's going to get you through it, man. You know, it says, but he that is cruel trouble of his own flesh. Right. You, 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 uh, not want to do good to yourself. You just going to hurt yourself. You know, this is Ezekiel, just as it said right here up in the Habakkuk, it says, but he that taketh, it says, he that heard the, heard the sound of trouble and took not warning. Right. You heard the prophecies, but you didn't cover yourself. His blood shall be upon him. Right. So basically they, the, the people that don't take heed to this, you Israelites, the blood, your blood going to be upon yourselves, man. It says, but he that take of, take of warning shall deliver his soul, right? If you prudent and you get in good with the Lord before you come and judge this place, hey, you're going to be good. <laughs> like it. This is Ezekiel 33 and verse 3. So like it, verse 6. It says, but if the watchman see the sword come and blow not the trumpet and the people be not warned, if the sword come and take any person, from among them, he has taken away his iniquity, but his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. Salakia. <coughs> Salakia. It says, uh, right. 
continuing on, it says, So thou, son of man, I have set thee for a watchman into the house of Israel. Therefore, thou shalt hear the word in my mouth and warn them from me, man. So, hey, you supposed to... The men of the Lord are set up to warn our people, man, just as it's in the scriptures, man. The Apostle Paul said, uh, 1 Corinthians 9 and 16, For though I preach the gospel, I have nothing to glory of, for necessity is laid upon me. Yea, woe is unto me if I preach not the gospel right, man. Because hey, if the Lord cho cho uh, choose you to, and he give you these breakdowns, man, you're supposed to go ahead and go spread it, man. You know, you're not supposed to go bury your talent in the dirt. No, you're supposed to make it flip. You're supposed to produce, you know. And they said, woe is me if I preach not the gospel, right? If I don't do the work, a hey, destruction is for me, you know? Uh, Isaiah 58 and verse 1 says, cry aloud and spare not, lift up thy voice like a trumpet and show my people their transgressions in the house of Jacob, their sins, man. So, hey, we're supposed to go out and show our people. We're supposed to rebuke our people, reprove our people. We're supposed to compel them to repent, you know, compel them to return. This is Matthew chapter 10 and verse 5. It says, These twelve Yahweh Shai sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles and enter Salakia, so and into any city of the Samaritans, enter ye not, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So, hey, the Lord, Yahweh Shai, he sent uh, his apostles to go to the, not to the Gentiles, but to the lost sheep of the nation of Israel, and, and do what? And as ye go, preach, saying, The kingdom of heaven is at hand. Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, cast out devils freely. You have received freely give, man. So he commissioned them to go out and uh, bind up and heal our people. Give them the, the gospel, the good news, man. And, and, and spiritually start to heal them, you know. So that's what we out here to do, man. This is John 21 and 15. It says, so when they had dined, Yahweh Shai said to Simon, Peter, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? More than these, he saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my lambs. He said to him again the second time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? He saith unto him, Yea, Lord, thou knowest that I love thee. He saith unto him, Feed my sheep. He saith unto him the third time, Simon, son of Jonas, lovest thou me? Peter was grieved because he said unto him the third time, Lovest thou me? And he said unto him, Lord, thou knowest all these things. All the all things thou knowest that I love thee, Yahweh Shai said unto him, Feed my sheep, man. So when Yahweh Shai told uh he told Simon, uh he, he told Apostle Peter, man, he told him, Listen, if you love me, feed my sheep, you know. Because this is a mighty work that we doing, man. And who is the sheep, man? This is Jeremiah 15 and 17. Israel is a scattered sheep, all the tribes. The lions have driven him away. First, the king of Syria have devoured him, and last this Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, have broken his bones, man. So, hey, our people are just going off in destructive ways, man. They in Islam and Christianity, then, you know, witchcraft, all this, man. But, hey, somebody has to be the uh, the repairs of the breach, man, you know. Ezekiel 33 and verse 8, it says, When I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die if thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way. That wicked man shall die in his iniquity, but the blood will I require at thy hand, right? So, hey, we have to do the work. You know, if we don't do this work, if we don't warn our people, if we don't go out and prophesy with us knowing it's true, hey, how about Shemel Shai is going to put that blood upon us? It says, uh, it says, but his blood will I require at thy hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked to turn from, so like it warned the wicked of his way to turn from it. If he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity. But thou has delivered thy soul, man. So, hey, hey, we have to do the work rather the people uh, listen, rather they hear or forbear. You know, this is uh, verse 10. It says, therefore, O thou son of man, speak unto the house of Israel. Thus ye speak, saying, if our transgressions and our sins be upon us and we pine away in them, how should we then live? Saying to them, as I live, save you, how a power, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, man. So, hey, how about Shemel Shai told you, like, I, I don't I don't have pleasure in judging you wicked people. You know, I don't have ple pleasure in putting y'all to death, man. You can't, you know, the scripture tell you, you can't praise the Lord in, in the grave, man. It says, I have no pleasure in the death of the wicked, but that the wicked turn from his way and live. Right. And this is talking about the wicked of our people, man. Yeah, how about Shemel Shai wants you to repent. It says, turn ye. Turn ye from your evil ways for a while. For why will ye die, O house of Israel, man? But hey, according to prophecy, hey, how about you? I ain't go let two thirds uh, repent, man, because they too far gone. Second Peter three and nine it says, 
Yahweh is not slack concerning his promise, as some men count slackness, but is long suffering to us, where the Israelites, not willing that any should perish, but that all shall come to repentance. Man, hey, how about Shemel Shai? Ultimately, he will want every Israelite to get down and worship him instantaneously. But hey, it's not gonna work like that, man. <laughs> only as it's written, only a, only a remnant will return. Ezekiel 33 and verse 12 says, Therefore, thou son of man, say unto the children of thy people, the righteousness of the righteous shall not deliver him in the day of his transgression. As for the wickedness is of the wicked, he shall not fall thereby in the day that he turneth from his wickedness. Wickedness. Neither shall the righteous be able to live for his righteousness in the day that he sinneth. When I shall say to the righteous that he shall surely live, if he trusts his own righteousness and commit iniquity, all his righteousness shall be remembered. So like all his righteousness shall not be remembered. But for his iniquity that he have committed, he shall die for. So, hey, you can't trust, a, uh, you can't lean upon your own understanding and believe that you righteous, you know. Not not, not believe that you righteous, but believe that you can do anything because you righteous. Oh, I'm doing the work so I can go and do this and do that. Nah, yeah, how about you, man? requires you to live a certain way, you know. Proverbs 3 and 5, trust in Yahweh with all thy heart and lean not into thy own understanding and all thy ways acknowledge him. But he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear Yahweh and depart from evil. And that's what you got to do, man. The Lord is merciful. All you got to do is fear the Lord. <laughs> it's like, it's like all you got to do is repent, fear the Lord, and uh, and, and do what he say do, man. It's not too hard. It says, uh, trust in Yahweh with all thy heart and lean not into thy own understanding. In all thy ways, acknowledge him. And he shall direct thy paths. Be not wise in thy own eyes. Fear Yahweh and depart from evil. It shall be health unto thy navel and marrow to thy bones. So, hey, it's going to do you good if you serve the Lord, man. You know, as the scriptures say, uh, it, it'll be well with those that fear. You know, roughly paraphrase. And I believe that precepts in the book of Ecclesi Ecclesiasticus. <sighs> but uh, continuing on, this is uh, Ezekiel 33 and 15. If the wicked restore the pledge, give again that he had robbed... Walk in the statues of life without committing iniquity. He shall surely live. He shall not die. None of his sins that he have committed shall be mentioned unto him. He have done that which is lawful and right. He shall surely live. So, hey, how about you, man? So I say, hey, if you repent, if you if you going off amongst his people and you repent, hey, the Lord is going to have mercy on you, man. And, hey, that's the, the scripture called the Lord, the father of mercies, man. He has overflowing. He has a superfluity of, uh, of, uh, mercy man but also it tells you that uh he will not be pacified from multitude of sins you know uh he won't uh basically just allow you to keep you know uh repenting 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 you know <laughs> uh, the same thing it's like isaiah 55 and verse 6 says seek ye yahweh while he may be found call ye upon him while he is near so he seek the lord while he may be found man let the wicked forsake his way and the unrighteous man his thoughts and let him return unto Yahweh and he will have mercy upon him and to our power for he will abundantly pardon. It's like it. So hey, the scriptures tell you that a hey, hey, forsake that, that uh, wicked path that you was on, man, and serve the Lord. The Lord is going to have mercy on you. You know, he's going to uh, cleanse you of that wickedness. It's like it. It's like I'm all fucked up. It says, uh, you know, the Lord will have mercy or mercy upon you. He will abundantly pardon. It says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts. Neither are your ways my ways, save Yahweh. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways and my thoughts than your thoughts. <laughs> right. Ezekiel 33 and 17 says, yet the children of thy people say the way of Yahweh is not equal. But as for them, their way is not equal. Right. Our people have a, a misconstrued concept of a, well, a misconstrued, a misconstrued, uh, Mor morale you know everything that they think is right is actually wrong everything they think is wrong is right man you know for the most part <laughs> the lord is simple man the lord you know what he wants you to do is simple just repent and return <laughs> it says yet the children of thy people said the way how is not equal but as for them their way is not equal right proverbs 16 11 a just weight and a balance are your house all the weights of the bag are his work so hey how about you man deals with just weights you know, balance, you know, so hey, Amos 5 and 14, seek good and not evil. That's the balance. Seek what's good. How do you figure out what's good? Going into the Holy Scriptures and not evil, man, that ye may live so that you may live and not die. 
And so Yahweh, the power of hosts, shall be with you as ye have spoken, right? So seek the good so Yahweh Shemel Shai can be on your side, man. And when Yahweh Shemel Shai is on our side, we prosper. Hate the evil and love the good and establish judgment in the gate. Judge righteous judgment. It may be that Yahweh, power of hosts, will be gracious unto the remnant of Joseph. <laughs> and continuing on in that Ezekiel, Ezekiel 33 and 18, it says, When the righteous turneth from his righteousness and committeth iniquity, he shall even die thereby, man. So, hey, you cannot go back into your own vomit, man. You know, Sirach 26, 28, there be two things that grieve my heart and the third making me angry. A man of war that suffer poverty and men of understanding that are not set by and one that returneth from righteousness to sin. Yeah, how we prepare such as one for the sword, man. So hey, ain't no turning back, man. You know, it said that's something that makes the Lord angry, man. Hebrews 10 and 35, cast not away, therefore, your confidence. Confidence means con, wit, fidence, fidelity, faith. Which have great recompense of reward, man, because hey, our faith is going to get us delivered out of here. Our faith and not works, man. It says, for ye have need of patience, for ye have need of patience, that after ye have done the will of the Most High, ye might receive the promise, promise, right? So we do the Lord's work. We do what Yahweh Bashim El Shai commissioned us to do. We're going to inherit the blessings, man. We're going to inherit the promises, man. It says, for yet a little while, and he that, sh that shall come will come. Who is that? Yahweh Shai. And will not tarry, right? You ain't gonna be sitting here. We ain't gonna be sitting here having to occupy because hey, Yahweh Shemel Shai is on his way really soon. <laughs> it's how now the just shall live by faith, but if any man draw back, my soul shall have no pleasure in him. But we are not of them who draw back unto perdition, but of them that believe to the saving of the soul, man. So hey, to hell with giving up, to hell with falling, bro, to hell with you know, returning back into the world to again choked out, strangled by the pollutions of the earth. No, to hell with that, man. You know. This is uh, Ezekiel 33 and 19. It says, But if the wicked turn from his wickedness and do that which is lawful and right, he shall live thereby. Yet ye say the way Yahweh is not equal. O ye house of Israel, I will judge you, everyone, after his ways, man. So, hey, how about Shema Shai treating us? Like, hey, but my my way is just do good and good will come to you. Our people, they got to do all this. Got to do all this wickedness and do all this just confusion, you know? <laughs> This is the last precept by Isaiah 59 and 20. And the Redeemer shall come to Zion and unto them that turn from transgression and Jacob save Yahweh. So, hey, Yahweh Shemel Shai is going to be with those that do turn away from their wickedness and come to righteousness, man. So, hey, you know, this is just a quick breakdown of a few precepts I had, uh, well, a few scriptures I've seen in Ezekiel 33 chapter. And I'll just put a few precepts to get uh, further edification on them, you know. So, hey, Lord willing, this was an edifying video. Call Halal Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai Bahasham Rechak Wadash. Don't want to say the elders and the apostles of great millstones. I taste to all I can push in his word with truth, sincerity, or charity. Shalom and a baba ball.